Well, hello, this is Peter Combs from Bitamount.com and Peel Combs Asian Art in Gloucester, Massachusetts. And uh, in this video, we're just going to do a really quick tutorial, only a few minutes long, on how do you differentiate uh, between Rose Mandarin, Rose Medallion, and Rose Canton. All right, this is aimed specifically at folks who collect 19th century export porcelain. And as you, here are some slides, and as you can see, they all come in a, a, they come in a very wide array of uh, uh, decorative palettes, styles, shapes, forms, all kinds of uh, 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 differences. But they basically break down into three categories, and we're going to get to those in a minute. We happen to get a collection, a small collection in recently of these, and I thought it would be fun to do um, uh, a video to help folks uh, understand the difference. And uh, as you can see, the, the variations are wide. And here are the basic, here's the basic on it, okay? On the left is Rose Canton. And on Rose Canton, you typically only see flowers, birds, insects, fruit, fish, that sort of thing, all right? Just no people ever, okay? No people on Rose Canton. Rose Medallion is a mix. You have panels of people as well as panels of uh, flowers, fish, insects, butterflies, fruit, and all that stuff. And, uh, the, and all these people te pieces tend to have a sort of an overall greenish tone to them. Uh, the dominant color uh, to your eye is always that. The finest pieces were made between 1830 and about 1860. And last on the right is Rose Mandarin. And Rose Mandarin typically only has figural scenes like this. That's all you see on them. And the borders will be done with flowers, fish, insects, butterflies, fruit, um, uh, all kinds of other things. But the main deck component is always people. So you have always flowers, fruit, and so forth, or always people, or a combination of the three in mand medallion. And that's it. Not hard to figure out. Have a great week, and uh, we'll see you next time. All righty. Bye-bye.